Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I wanna show you guys that this maxi dress actually fits me. Look, it actually goes all the way to the ground, but you can still see my feet. How great is that? I'm so happy. It's like the first time this ever happened in my life. So I thought I would document it. Today is a big day because Piper and I are going to the beach with my school friends, which is gonna be super fun. We're going to Ponce Inlet. I really wish there was like, we'd go someplace closer, but it's fine. It's a really nice beach and I guess dogs are allowed. So I'm gonna take her. I'm so excited. I just wanna start the video, but first I need to get Starbucks. I'm gonna get Starbucks for Jamie because I'm riding with her in her car, so. Yeah, let's go get the uh, the treats. All right, so Kyra's there, Jamie's there. Oh, and this is uh, little Piper's third car ride. Third car ride. She's doing good. She's being good doggy. We decided to come to Hidden Treasure again. It was super fun last time, and decided to bring the pooch. Look at this view. Got the best spot in the house. Oh, there's a little chicken. Oh, look at the little boat. How cute is that? <laughs> All right, we finally made it to the beach, and it's in a couple hours. It's gonna be storming. There's the, there's the thunder clouds. Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna make we're gonna make the most of it for this little time. All right, Piper, let's see if you like the water. Do you like it on your paws? Hold on, let's let's see. Are you a beach? Oh, she's a beach dog. Do you like it, Piper? Oh, 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 look at her. She likes it. Oh, oh, maybe not, maybe not. We're doing a mini photo shoot here. We only have a few minutes because of this rain coming. Uh, the dog is enjoying herself. Yeah, the dog is enjoying herself. She's, it's fun. I wish we had more time, but we're gonna have to leave pretty soon, probably. Oh, look at it's a turtle. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you can see it a little early. Found a dead shrimp. Look at that. Here's Piper swimming. Good girl. She doesn't like swimming that well. She doesn't really like it, but we're forcing her. Just a little bit. All right, so Kyra caught this crab. It's moving, you can see. His name is Eugenie. Look at his little like legs moving. Okay, so it's the next day and I am just doing some simple makeup. I'm going to get my hair trimmed today, which is gonna be fun. I cannot afford to have it colored because it's just too darn expensive. It's just so expensive, but I definitely will be getting my hair done when I have a job. Um, Cause like I thoroughly enjoy it and I'm getting it trimmed because it's like pretty long right now, as you guys can see. And I just want it like long layered. I don't really want to necessarily get rid of the length. I always regret cutting my hair short. So I'm just going to have her like trim it, give it some like flair. I have some inspo, uh, like TikToks that I'll show you guys. I don't know. I want to do something with it, but like something that I can afford to make sense for my budget, but also like still treat my hair, you know? <laughs> Um, it was funny too because one of my friends, my old co-workers, uh -oh, uh oh, one of my old co-workers was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen you with like black hair. And that's actually pretty true because I was like platinum blonde and then I did the balayage type thing. It probably would be pretty rare for anyone to see me like with stark black hair. Um, but you know. Y'all are gonna get to see it. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, I could go someplace else, but like, I've only been satisfied with like two people doing my hair. My current hair lady, my current hairstylist, Jasmine, and Abigail. Abigail lives in LA, so it's not like I'm gonna be going to uh, LA for her to do my hair. So yeah, I'm not like, I'm just gonna wait and then have Jasmine do it the right way and everything. I don't wanna like mess anything up. Because I've already had a lot of hair horror, horror stories. That is what I'm doing today. Just getting a little trim. And then um, I'm going to hang out with my friend. Um, 
I don't have like a nickname for her or anything like one of my friends I call London but like obviously it's not like her real name but yeah I'm hanging out with one of my friends it's just gonna be super fun I haven't like hung out with her like just one-on-one -on -one for like a hot minute and we're just gonna do like content day I'm wearing this outfit yes I know these straps are like super annoying but my hair is gonna be like covering this area I cannot stand wearing like strapless bras because they always fall down so I'm not gonna do that because comfort over like everything else honestly and yes this is comfortable it's just like this is like super ugly but I don't care I want to and it's not the end of the world also too I think I've corrected the coloring on this camera so when I put my like hand up it like the colors change which is great because I don't want to be like super orange like this entire clip um and then also too I closed this door this door like when I open it it'll be blue so I think that's why it changes me to like orange so I shut the door and then I also like zoomed in just like a slight bit on the camera and the coloring looks okay like it actually looks normal now I'm kind of glad I did that because I always hated filming in my bathroom because the freaking lighting I and these kind of do give off a yellow tint which is again not my vibe I hate yellow lights I think I fixed it so we're good uh overall though that's pretty much the updates I mean I can ramble on and on which I might you know continue to do because I don't have a lot of footage oh my gosh so I feel like I've been slacking on the vlogging which I kind of have at least like posting but I have like vlogs filmed so I have this vlog and then I have another vlog that was filmed before our Disney day, but I didn't post that one. I didn't really post them in chronological order because I wanted to get the Disney vlog up like soon because it was more fun and exciting. So yeah, I do have this vlog and another vlog. I just have to edit them. Yeah, I'm a little backed up on the, the content. I don't wanna like stress myself out like with content and stuff. Yeah, and that's why I kind of like made the executive decision even though it's not really like executive but you know what I mean I made the decision to pick and choose what I want to film a reel or what I want to vlog because honestly it is just way too hard to like kind of do both I mean when it boils down to it if I want to do both like I can it's just like a lot more to like juggle so like the 4th of July parade um I knew I probably didn't want to have a camera and like the people in my club wouldn't really well they would understand but like I don't know it's just like more weird so I was like okay I'm going to just make a reel or a tiktok out of this instead of bringing this camera and like vlogging the event which is still fine because like even if my um tiktoks or like youtube shorts do bad like on one platform they'll do good so like on TikTok, it did pretty well. Like, it did over 300 views, which is pretty good. Even though I don't get paid from that, it's still fine. I may not get a lot of views on the YouTube end of uh, the short, but I got good views on TikTok, and, like, it gave me something to post on Instagram. So, it's not a complete waste, so I have to just look at it as, like, having fun creating content and not, like, thinking about the views. And another thing about like YouTube shorts, you can't predict or like have any control over how well it does. So that's another thing I hate. But then again, I can't blame people because I don't watch YouTube short shorts either. Like I really don't like YouTube shorts. I wish that YouTube was just like YouTube and it was for the longer uh, content, like the longer formatted content rather than like vertical short form, I swear. These brows. I would get them like laminated or like, you know, those, the things that people do, but I just can't justify spending that much money. Like I can justify it on like the hair because like the hair, but I can't like justify it on like maybe getting my eyebrows done. Like I have in the past, I would get them like, um, done at like a nail salon, you know, I would get them waxed and like threaded or whatever but like laminated or microbladed all that stuff like that's a little too much man like I'm not gonna do that I could save that and get myself more Starbucks I don't I don't know but I just definitely know that I would not spend that on like my eyebrows because even though sometimes they turn out bad sometimes they turn out good yeah it's not worth like that much money um <laughs> 
it's fine. Maybe I would for like if I was getting married or something like big, but not on a regular basis. Like, no, 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 no. I've gotten to the point now too where I can do my makeup in like 10 minutes, which is great. Oh my gosh, I took this wing out too far. Shoot. It is what it is. So my friend and I are gonna go to Winter Park and then maybe we'll make our way to the mall. I'm not sure, but hopefully it's just a really fun day. I know it will be. Also too, like it's so funny, but there's always like really cool things that happen to me and uh, my friend when we like go certain places together. Like it doesn't happen with like really anyone else except for this, <laughs> except for this girl. We always just have like good luck or something. I don't know. But I wonder what today will bring because it's been a hot minute since we hung out, like I said. So I know like some fun stuff or like, I don't know, maybe we'll get like a free meal or something. Maybe something will happen because it just always does. So just washing my hands because I hate when makeup's on them and stuff. And this is my outfit for today. Just wearing the Air Forces. After getting hokas, oh my gosh, these things are so uncomfortable, but I don't know. They just look better with this outfit. And then, like I said, my hair is going to be covering like the straps. I love matching sets for this reason. Like I don't have to think about anything. Like I literally just threw this on and called it a day, but it's still cute. And it still looks like I put in some effort. So yep. And then just normal like jewelry and we're ready to rock and roll. We made it to Jasmine's. It'll probably be pretty fast, this appointment, but always love coming here. Okay. So it's so nice to be in Jasmine's chair again, especially because my hair has gotten like so long. Are you cool with that much coming up? Yes. Okay. That's like a good inch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably like two inches. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's my hair. We only took off like about a couple inches and then she gave me some layers. Is the temperature okay? Yeah. This is the final look. She's looking cute. You'll be able to see the, like the more layers like later on, but we did the little beachy waves little wave going on. So our first stop is Avalon Exchange. It's like a thrift shop uh, in Winter Park. And that's an interesting graffiti work, piece of art as well. We obviously stopped at the Lululemon. We had to see this gorgeous bag. I don't know if my friend's gonna get it, but I think she should. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh shit, it's 68 bucks. That's not bad. Of course, I got you, girl. So yeah, my friend better get this. It's so freaking cute. She could use it for the beach or like gym or whatever. We obviously stopped into Lulu and uh, Winter Park because it's just like tradition. We gotta do it. I was thinking too, like I really want one of these bras not to work out in, but just to like, um, like wear as a bra or just wear with like leggings or biker shorts because that's not supportive enough for me when I actually work out. It wouldn't be a true trip to Winter Park without coming to the Starbucks on Park Ave. All right, so my friend inspired me to talk about this with you guys, but um, we were talking about threads and then we sparked like this whole conversation with the baristas and they all started talking about threads and how it's like, it's not meant for, the, for me and like blah, blah, blah. So we just thought it was funny. My friend, she's a little bit millennial as well. So I was showing her what the heck that is. I don't know, I like it. If you wanna follow me, follow me. You can go through Instagram. They have that like weird link thing. Um, I think it's odd. I don't, it makes my bio on Instagram look ugly. Sure. I got a photographer here. I'm keeping that in there. Go ahead. So basically my friend and I tried the pump. Wait, was it lemon? A lemon loaf? I think so, yeah. It was like a lemon loaf. And then now we're gonna try, cheers. <laughs> we're gonna try the pinkity drinkity. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not bad. It's actually a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah. Wow. It's really refreshing. Is that's that? I bet that's really what it is. It's some kind of refresher. I'm gonna ask Lee, because I actually kind of like this. This is good for summer. Mm-hmm. Oh, imagine, like, by your pool, drinking one of these. Girl, I got you. You need to come over. Wait, we need to do a cheers. Oh, yes. We got this matching I need to get that for Instagram. Slay. Wait, it's not focused. There we go. Oh. Slay. 
All right guys, so we found this cute little area in Winter Park, obviously. <laughs> and then we have this cute wall here, and then there's like some shops, and then my friend said this is giving jail. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so we're heading into Gasp. We come in the store every time we come in. <gasps> Look at how cute, instead of stop, it's shop. So, I'm just getting a little overview. It's kind of crowded in here today. I love the stuff in here, but like, it's low-key kind of expensive. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna just shop around and look at the cuteness stuff. Window shop, obviously. Some kind of... We made it to the mall. We're at Mall of Millennia, of course. But first things first, got a pee, so we're heading up to the food court. Wouldn't be a mall trip without coming into Aritzia. Can't really spend any money, which is so sad, but it's fine. Um, it's always fun though to window shop. Okay, so I wanna show you guys. This is what the top looks like. I like it. I don't know if like... You like it? Yeah, I like it. I don't know. Are you in the mirror? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. It wouldn't be another trip to the mall without going into Lululemon. I mean, come on. Look at this new store. It smells new, we were just saying. But yeah, it's so bright and nice in here. We've come in. Oh, it's all like blurry. We have decided to come into a uh, Cheesecake Factory and they actually set these napkins out for like a placemat. Oh, we got this stuff from Urban Outfitters when we were talking shit about Urban Outfitters. <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're not gonna get anything, but we actually got something, which is kind of funny. We came into the Cheesecake Factory for dinner and yeah, that's the update so far. All right, so I got the uh, shrimp with angel hair and then obviously you saw our drinks earlier, but a bon appetit. Okay, you guys know, Stuff happens when I'm always with my friend, right? We got free bread just now. I swear, I knew something was gonna happen today. He was just like, do you want this bread? And we're like, yeah. So we got some nice bread, because it was extra. 